today we're going to talk about the, the marketplace requirements. So I'd like to start with uh, I'd like to start with Phil. Um, if you could tell us what your view is on the current marketplace. Sure. I mean, th the first thing that uh, that CIOs uh, tell us when we go out and talk to them is that. Um, First, they've been told by their uh, CFOs and CEOs to, to slash the budget, and that, that's pretty well universal. Um, you know, cost cuts of 10 to 20 percent are fairly normal. And some of them are doing the same to staff. They're all getting rid of contractors and uh, temporary staff. So that's the sort of, sort of economic climate. And as a result of that, uh, they're involved in a lot of quite strategic projects to save money, things like consolidating the number of data centers they've got, um, centralizing servers, uh, virtualization both uh, in the data center of, of servers and also virtualization of desktops. Now, you know, I mean, that's, um, that sounds great until you start to say, well, what's, what's the impact of all those projects on the data center traffic um, environment um, and, and general technical requirements? And it's all putting uh, you know, a huge strain both on the traffic and performance of, of data center networks. So, Andy, that's Forrester's perspective. Uh, where do you see um, your priorities? Our priorities are somewhat similar, but there's an extra challenge added in. While we are obviously under financial um, push to reduce costs, compact data centers, we're building some fairly large data centers in order to consolidate all of our data centers in North America into a couple of data centers. That's a challenge in and of itself to build a new data center while reducing costs, while moderating the staff, keeping it flat, but the business itself continues to grow. In our area, real-time processing is critical. We're in a race to uh, zero latency, or as close as one can get to zero latency. That drives the business and the cost of technology up. So we have to balance the need to get to zero latency, the need to handle continually growing volumes and trading activity, while meeting the business demands of reducing cost. Quite the challenges. Okay. So Mike, how are we engaging with other customers to address these needs? So we, one of the things we're finding is that uh, cost of ownership is a big sensitivity that customers have today. Uh, in some cases, it's a, a big focus around CapEx. Uh, in some cases, it's a big focus on OpEx, and sometimes it's a combination of thereof. Depends on how people are modeling their business and, and how they structure their finances. Um, one of the other things we're finding is that having choice and flexibility is becoming very key because as they're making very uh, strategic decisions about how does technology align to their business needs, they want to have the freedom of being able to use exactly what's right to meet those business needs and to spend that money prudently. And so those are two very key value propositions that Juniper brings to the market, and those are very uh, big topics in the kind of conversations we have when we talk about how do our high-performance networks meet the needs and the challenges they have today.